Find out more by visiting wasteconnections.com slash Cleveland TN. All right, we are uh, joined by uh, Congressman uh, Tim Burchett, who I believe is off this morning. Is uh, the House out today? Is that right? That's correct. That's correct. We resume on Tuesday. How are you, sir? I am well. Thank you so much. I'm just out getting out in the district today. I've been, um, my home time is, is, I work a lot harder than I do when I'm in D.C., <laughs> well, you've been very busy. I, I know you've got stuff to do this morning. We're going to just uh, jump right in, John, of course, by uh, the Honorable Congressman uh, Tim Burchett of, uh, of Knoxville, former uh, Knox County mayor. And uh, I, we've just got so much to talk about, Congressman. I just want to begin just your take on uh, uh, the former president, uh, Trump, being uh, kicked off the ballots in, uh, in Colorado and in Maine, and then I guess another... 28 states are trying to do that. I think it's it's a gross abuse of power. It's something you'd see out of a banana republic. I said if any Republicans supported that, they should be uh, called banana Republicans, actually, <laughs> because it's, uh, it's, it's clearly just an attempt, like you said, just to keep him off the ballot. You know, they he's not been convicted. Um, in some cases, he has even been accused, and you have these – Secretary of State and others, and they're not even attorneys interpreting the Constitution as they see fit. And, um, you know, it, it's it's a gross abuse of power, and I think it's going to backfire. Every time they do it, Trump's numbers go up a couple points. I, I keep pretty close ties with his folks. I get a, a text or an email from him just about every day, and um, and he, um, he just defies the odds. And they're really making a martyr out of him. Uh, Joe Biden is just—he's in—he's in pitiful shape mentally, and um, and I still think the Democrats are, are scrambling to find somebody to replace him. He is—I uh, mean, he's really a disgrace to the office, and and the vice president is much better. So we we were really in a, a sad state of affairs there. Joined by Congressman Tim Burchett uh, of uh, Knoxville, and uh, and and I tell you. It's interesting, uh, as we look at the primary process, uh, Congressman, uh, all the polls are, are indicating uh, that uh, the former president, uh, Trump, is, is uh, really, one would say, lapping the field almost, uh, as, as far as, in the, especially in the early states and in the national polls, despite uh, all of these, uh, I guess, uh, Charges, accusations, that sort of thing. Why is that? Why, why, do, why do you, I tell you what, why do you think Donald Trump has basically taken uh, control of the Republican Party? Because I think the public interprets what's going on and, and they're sick of it. If they'd have left him alone, he might not do as well. But what they've done is just created a martyr type complex. And, and frankly, he, he, when he was president, I mean, everybody's mad about his tweets. That's why 20 million so-called conservatives decided to stay home that day, and we elected this. Who we had, we elected Joe Biden, but the truth is, you know, he made good court appointments, things that we'd strive for uh, for for decades. Um, he cleaned up a lot of mess, and um, and I think the public wants to see what he could do in four more years because now they're seeing the um, things like our Justice Department, who's uh, who's just out of control. I mean, we're, you're seeing uh, mothers going into school board meetings being being um, labeled domestic terrorists. And um, we've got our military and other factions of our government that I feel have been compromised. You saw a Chinese balloon fly over the country, and they realized these, these folks that want to negotiate, that's what's got us in $34 trillion in debt. And, and it's got our borders wide open. And this bumbling fool we have in the White House can't can't get out of his own way. Um, to just just take the border, for instance. Eight million people have come over since he's been in in power that we know of that, that have been documented. That's the size of of our state, the state of Tennessee. And these are folks that are going to have to be fed. And California is actually providing them free health care. In New York, they kick veterans out of homeless shelters so that foreigners, illegal aliens, can come in and stay. You know, those are the type of things that people in America are sick of, and they realize that this bunch hates this country. They hate everything we're about. They hate capitalism. 
They hate our religious structure. They hate everything about us, and they're trying to destroy us through their, their form of anarchy. And frankly, they're doing a pretty good job of it. We're joined by Congressman uh, Tim Burchett. Congressman, uh, I'm just going to jump a little around here. and speak. Well, speaking of the border, you know, uh, uh, House Speaker uh, Mike Johnson uh, uh, led a uh, delegation uh, down to the bar, I believe it was uh, yesterday, maybe the day before. Yeah, what? that's correct. I want to get your take on uh, uh, Speaker Johnson. Uh, you, you know, you along with uh, several others uh, in Congress were part of uh, basically deposing, or not deposing, but uh, but you know, uh, getting rid of uh, yeah, McCarthy, and uh, right. I got and I'm going to ask you about the elbow in a second. But but anyway, sure. but uh, but how do you think he's doing? How do you think uh, uh, Speaker Johnson is doing? Well, it's an incredible learning curve. You know, he went from literally organizing the speeches on the House floor on our topics that we were going to cover for the week, and he would give an award. I, like I got a Thomas Jefferson bust of, of my placing in the speeches one one month and the next day he's literally on an airplane flying to speak to benjamin netanyahu on behalf of our country so he's got an incredible learning curve he's very conservative but he needs the conservatives need to rally around him and remind him that that he is our conservative leader he's not a moderate he's not a liberal he needs to he needs to remember his conservative roots or we'll go shopping for another speaker next go around because he's going to have, you know, he lets some things slide like the FISA courts where somebody can um, literally come investigate you, the FBI can, without a search warrant. And, um, and so we've got we've to make some changes in, in, um, in the way we run in Washington. It's not run the way it's supposed to be run. And he is, um, and I've been disappointed in some of the things he's done, but I realize, too, the numbers. We don't have a big majority. Um, Kevin McCarthy, his big thing was we were going to have a 40-person majority, and as you know, I think we had a three- or four-person majority because um, they um, he used money that was given to him by apparently by I think by people like Sam Bankman-Fried to um, run campaigns against conservatives, and um, and he was not very successful in anything he did, and um, so yeah, um, I, he's he's a step up, but we still need to keep. We still need to rally around him as conservatives. Around that time, uh, when uh, when McCarthy uh, was ousted as speaker, you allege that you guys were in a, I guess, a corridor, a hallway, something there at the Capitol, and and he 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 elbowed you in the ribs. Is that is that is that right? Am I saying that right? That's grew in the back of you know my kidneys. I was actually I never reported it. Um, you can go on Twitter and you can see your my at Tim Burchett X account or whatever. And I never said anything about it. It was a NPR reporter who actually tweeted it out. said, you know, I've never, I've been here a long time. I've never seen anything like this. He walked by and elbowed Tim Burchett in the back. And, and that's exactly what he did. It was a, you know, he, he had his little security, he had a very small security detail, but you know, he came by and just threw an elbow in my back and, you know, a lot was made out of it. I went after him, and I told him I didn't like it, and that was about the end of it. I had, I was sitting on the House floor, and all of a sudden, I started getting inquiries from everybody. CNN wanted an exclusive Fox. You know, everybody got on it, and um, and you know, I remember I'd prayed about that whole situation, and I just had prayed honestly that that people would see what I saw in him, and. That was the answer I got. I guess they saw what I saw in him, but they saw it pretty quick. And well, um, I guess you got to be careful what you pray for. You end up with a bruised kidney. Mm. We're joined by Congressman Burchett. Final question, Congressman, uh, and that is uh, uh, something you've been uh, very passionate about, and, and that is the House Oversight Committee is going to receive a classified briefing on UFOs uh, coming up on uh, the 12th of January. Tell us, Tell us about that and your feelings going into it. Sure. Since 1947, the federal government has told us that these UFOs or UAPs, as they call them now, which is kind of a misdirection, I think, um, they do not exist. They've spent tens of millions of dollars researching them, but yet they do not want to release what they've found or the files or the contacts. And 
we've um it's called the tic tac videos like the candy not tic tock like the chinese communist propaganda it's tic tac video you can google it and it's basically a navy pilot chasing a ufo and there's a video of it and audio and i've talked to the pilots and there's multiple multiple occasions of this and you know honestly i'm not looking for little green man or flying saucers i just want transparency if we're going to spend millions of your tax dollars on an issue don't you think the American public has a right to know? I do. Um, we've Our Pentagon, for instance, I've been a critic of them. They have not ever in the history of audits passed an audit. In the last one, we found out they had lost a half a trillion dollars in assets. A half a trillion. Can you imagine that? And and yet we rewarded them with $40 billion more billion this, this go-around. It's, it's, it's out of control. We need to rein this agency in, and we need to get to the facts. Every department, the FBI, the CIA, NASA, all your alphabet agencies, the Pentagon, they're all researching UFOs. They're all spending millions and millions of dollars. And they apparently we've been told that the CIA has actually recovered something, yet they will not share that with the American public. I think it's time. I think we can handle it. I, I, I just We just want transparency is all we want. Congressman uh, Tim Birch, Congressman, I really appreciate you uh, joining us uh, this morning. I appreciate your time. Hey, I always appreciate you all, and just keep putting the truth out, brother. People are listening. Thank you very much. Congressman Tim Birch, we appreciate it. Have a great day. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, there you go.